Sometime we all ran out of Arduino IO pins and we have to switch to other Arduino board. For example, if we are making a project with Arduino Nano and we ran out of its IO pin, then we can switch to Arduino Mega which is a suitable solution. But you also have to spend a lot more as compared to Arduino Nano. So today, we are going to see a cost effective way to expand Arduino's IO pins. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project. Then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color, and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on checkout securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. First, let's see how we can expand Arduino Spin for output. For that, we have used 748C595 chip, which is an 8-bit serial in parallel out shift register. It has three control inputs, data, clock, and latch. It also has reset and output enable pins, but we are not controlling them with Arduino. So if we want to send 8-bit data at the output of 748C595 chip, we send 8-bit data serially to data pin along with 8 clock pulses. With that, the 8-bit data is moved into the 748C595 chip. Now we give a pulse at the latch pin and the data would be moved to the output. In Arduino, we can use shift out command for this purpose. If we want to send more than 8-bit data, we can cascade as many chips as we want. Now let's see how we can expand Arduino spin for input. For that, we have used CD4021 chip, which is an 8-bit parallel in serial out shift register. It also has three control pins. If we want to receive an 8-bit data, we give a pulse at load pin to load the 8-bit data from the inputs of CD4021 chip. Then we give 8 clock pulses to clock pin and with each pulse, we receive each bit serially. In the Arduino, we can use shift in command for this purpose. If we want to receive more than 8 bits, we can cascade as many CD4021 chips as we want. Now let's see how we can expand analog input pins of Arduino. For that, I have used CD4051 chip, which is an 8-channel analog multiplexer. It has 3 address pins, 1 analog out pin, and 8 analog in pins. If we want to receive 8 different analog values, we give address of a specific channel and receive the value of that channel. After that, the received value is stored in a variable. And then we receive analog value from the next address and stored it in a different variable. We have used 2748C595 chips, 2CD4021 chips and 2CD4051 chips to have 16 digital outputs, 16 digital inputs and 16 analog inputs. So these are the connections of digital output expansion, digital input expansion and analog input expansions. For the expansion circuit, there were a lot of connections. Therefore, I have made a PCB for this project. So these are the PCBs. Now let's put all the components onto the PCB. Thank you. 
I have also made some example codes to test the expanded inputs and outputs. You can modify these codes as per your requirement. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have learned something from this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.